Hi, Coach Burt, Ultimate Soccer Coaching. And uh, today I want to talk a little bit about a small sided game that we actually ran at our club the other night. Uh, we're in a uh, place right now, we're in the midst of high school season. So the high school age club players are busy with high school, they're not in a club season. Uh, and then we have middle school soccer going on. So our younger players, U14s, U13s, uh, a lot of them in and out of practice. We're latter part of the season now in the last couple of weeks. We've got some injuries. So we've had a lot of practices where we've had very small numbers, eight, nine players. And this is an activity that was run uh, last night by the U14 coach for our boys. Uh, a lot of fun. The kids love it. It gets them to, uh, to play very hard, uh, very aggressively. It helps to, to build up some toughness, some physicality, uh, quickness, mental agility, things like that. So real simple setup. Um, you're going to have a small field. And I'll draw it big enough for you to see it. But really it's you know probably a, a, a 20 by 30, 15 by 25, something like that. You're going to have a small sided goal on each side of the pitch. And you'll line up here with the coach and he'll have all the balls. And then you just split the kids up into two teams and they don't, they don't have to even be even numbers. So it's a great activity if you have nine players or something kind of odd. So we'll go with the red team here and we'll go to the blue team here. And it works really well if you have an odd number of players, and I'll show you why in just a moment. But if you have an even number, not a big deal. Basically, the objective of the game, um, blue team trying to score in this goal, red team trying to goal, score in this goal. And the coach will start out with the ball on the field, and you're going to want to tell the players ahead of time that when the ball is played into the field, it's live. You can go. So... At each, each repetition, two players from each team are going to go to the field. So the coach has the ball, he knocks it onto the field, two blues go on, two reds go on, and they play until either a goal is scored or the ball exits uh, the field. If the ball exits the field, both teams have to sprint back and get off the field. We call that get out of here. If you don't score, get out of here, get out of here, get back, get back in line. They have to sprint. Uh, if they're walking, then you're going to take goals away from the team. So making them work hard. And then you send two more, two more players, two and two, and you just keep going through. Um, the nice thing if you've got odd numbers is since you're going two at a time, your matchups after the first run through are going to be different. <clears throat> so you have different kids playing together, things like that. Um, if a goal is scored, then that team stays. So if red comes out and um, red comes out, red scores, then red team stays, coach plays the red team a new ball, and blue team's got to hurry up and get on the field and defend. So sort of a make it, take it kind of scenario. A um, couple of things that are kind of fun with this is, is as a coach, you can play around with, you know, faking, kicking the ball, you know, maybe just barely rolling the ball over the line so it's sitting right here. Um, especially a lot of fun if you're talking to the kids and kind of distracting them and you just kind of, you know, play the ball out with the side of your foot like you're you know, real nonchalant. You can see who's really paying attention and, uh, and who's sleeping. So that's, uh, that's called get out of here, and that's one version. Another version that's a lot of fun is that we call it we call it elimination and the same game but you're going to now do 1v1 so you're only going to send one player on at a time same rules apply uh, if a goal is scored then that player stays on he gets the ball a new player comes on if the ball goes out both players are off but the way it works this time is if you get scored on then you're eliminated so if red player number one gets scored on then he steps off and we keep going until one whole team is entirely eliminated um, and this can be fun because you'll have you'll have situations where we got down to one red player yesterday, and because he's getting the ball every time, he has an advantage. And um, there was four blues and one red. And the red red player ended up winning. He was able he was able to score uh, you know four consecutive goals and knock the whole team out. So that's a little fun version of this elimination. Um, if you're looking for more small sided games, we just recently re uh, released a, a great video clinic on small sided games. You go to ultimatesoccercoaching.com slash soccer games, and you're going to see the URL uh, posted right here on the screen on this video. Go there, check that out. I have 20 of my favorite small-sided games. We broke them down uh, with video just like this, where I'm going to teach you on the board, give you lots of great coaching points. Um, if you're looking for new small-sided games, if you're looking for new ways to, to increase the number of touches your players get, put them in more in, uh, situations where they have to make decisions, get them defending uh, and attacking being very versatile players, you want to go check this out. So again, ultimatesoccercoaching.com slash soccer games. Check it out. Have a great day.